Hello, welcome to New Life Scientific. Uh, my name is Steve. Uh, today we're going to talk and be talking about our quality assurance uh, program that we do on microtomes. Uh, quality assurance is what we do when a machine's ready to go out to be to better ensure that you get a good quality running machine. Uh, cryostats are one of the things that we do quite a few of. Um, of course, what everybody wants is that they get down to uh, to temperature, uh, which this has been uh, here for about two hours. Um, it drops to 20 degrees real quick. The, the second part was a little longer, but it still gets fairly quickly down to um, the specifications. In this particular model, it only specifies factory, specifies 35, even though the setting does say it'll do, it does go to 60. It will not get to 60. So this is one is actually doing better than factory spec. One of the other parts um, that this model will do is the cryo bar. For those of you who don't know um, some of the terminology on cryostats, this is the cryo bar. It gets very cold it's for pulling your, uh, your heat out of your samples and uh, to get your uh, disk nice and cold sort of here. Um, again, we make sure it, now those do get to minus 60. Um, that's a hard number to reach, and that's just about doing it. Um, uh, some of the other checks that we do, we make sure that the, the head is articulated and that the levers do perform as they should. This is your lock for your head. Now we have a swivel lock. Now these have a displacement screws that uh, release the, the, uh, the unit. It does pull as it should, so you can set the articulation. Your final lever here um, is for your specimen lock. It does lock and load very easily. It's one of the really nice things about this model. Um, of course, if they come with a rubber cover plate or a anti-roll plate, we make sure you've got good clean edges onto it. Um, uh, some, some of the units we get don't have um, the anti-roll plate. People either like them or hate them. So not all the units we sell have that. That the, 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 uh, that the plate on the, uh, uh, the pressure plate on the knife uh, lock uh, does articulate and holds the plate, holds the knife nice. That in cases where, where they, they have a lateral displacement knife, that it works nice and easily. So you can go to a different edge of your knife to get a fresh blade. Make sure that it locks in the way that it should. And also your back and forth. And of course, your cutting angle. Those are all functions that we do adjust when they're in the shop. Then we check and make sure that they're working uh, when they go out. Um, we do make sure that uh, we can set the time that you can go into the options, you got a good screen. Um, this particular model does have a uh, turbo boost, which will get a little extra cold out of your head. Um, we make sure that the handle moves, that it, that it locks securely, and then it moves nice and effortlessly. Um, some models, they don't move effortlessly when they're warm, but they do when they're cold. So that's one of the reasons why we do them when they're cold. This isn't one of those models. These seem to work pretty good all the time. Um, but anyway, so those are some of the features that we have. We make sure the doors lock and unlock. Kind of important. Now, um, uh, another thing we do test is that the head does retract fully or ex extends fully in this particular case. We try not to chip our um, anti-roll plate when we do this. I'm going to get that out of the way. And that's, that's the full extent. Just for a matter of um, this particular model, again, shows that it is fully extended. It's telling you, by flashing, it's telling you, I'm at the limit. 
Now on this model, when you can, you can hold the button down, it'll start to retract, as you can see, and I can release the button and it will continue to go back toward home. I am not holding the button right now, yet it's going back to, to its home position. Now on this model also, we will, uh, the shipping department will typically put a, some type of foam brace underneath that head to keep it from um, uh, uh, shaking loose, in, shaking the microtome section um, uh, a little bit. The, on, this, on this particular model, as most of many of the modern models, the microtome is actually in the warm side of the, cha or the, warm side of the machine, not in the cold chamber. Um, so you don't have uh, 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 seize up problems. Anyway, uh, one, while I'm here, I'm going to mention um, the fumigation palette where you can put your, um, your chemical in there, uh, press the fumigate button, it'll automatically lock the door, fumigate the chamber, won't, won't let you back in uh, for uh, a given period of time. Uh, anyway, uh, that's the, um, in this case, the Cryotome FE, it's a very common model for us. They also make it in a cold head model. And we also have, uh, uh, such as we got a neighbor here uh, that's getting ready to be listed. Uh, there's an HM550, is another very popular model with us. So if you need, uh, need anything, looking for a good model, let us know, we'll, uh, we'll help you out. Thank you very much.